Welcome to this video tutorial on how to share your images with other connected devices using the Epson Eye Projection software. The image sharing function is supported by networked Epson PowerLite and BrightLink Ultra Short Throw 600 series models, or later. It's also supported by networked BrightLink Pro 1450 UI. If your projector predates these models or is not on a network, you're not going to be able to use these features. Before starting, make sure any mobile devices that you wish to connect and share images with have the Epson Eye Projection application version 2.2 or later installed. Eye Projection is a free app available from Google Play or the Apple App Store. If you're connecting with a network PC or Mac, you must have the Eye Projection software installed on the Mac or PC. Eye Projection for Mac and PC is available as a free download from Epson.com. Now we're going to start by connecting your computers to the mobile devices to the same network that the projector resides on. Once you have connected to the network, open the iProjection app. With the app open, locate your projector and select Connect as Moderator. As Moderator, you will have the ability to control the display from your device as well as others that have connected to the projector. Then click Connect, you're now connected to the projector. In a similar way, the other mobile users in the room will connect to the network Open Eye Projection and connect to the projector. As the moderator, look at the upper left corner of the Eye Projection app menu icon, which shows us three small bars. From the drop down content, you can click on the image source that you would like to use. In this case, we'll click on Documents and open one of these files we have in Eye Projection. You'll see that the image is now being displayed to the projector. At that point, as a moderator, you have the ability to share the content of the projected screen to the other connected devices. It is important that you know that the image being shared is the image that's currently on the projector and not necessarily on the device itself. To do so, click on the three dot icon to the right. Then from the drop down menu, click share image. The projected image is now pushed out to the connected devices. With the image appearing on the other connected devices, users can use the iProjection built-in annotation tool to write or add notes to the received image. When completed, the users can send the annotated content back to the moderator by pressing the Save icon and then Send. The moderator then taps the menu icon on the upper left of the eye projection screen and then selects Multi-Device Projection. The moderator would then see a list of connected devices appearing in the lower part of the display window. From there, the moderator can select a thumbnail checkbox to see preview of the images from the connected devices. Next, select the number of devices shown. You can choose a single display two images side by side, or display four images at a time. Next, tap on the window you wish to display, then tap on the username to display the device in that window. As the moderator, you can display up to four devices at a time. If you want to change your device to display, simply click the window and tap the name of the new device you wish to display. It's that simple. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video on eye projection image sharing to help you unlock the possibilities of your Epson projector. Thank you for using Epson products. Epson, exceed your vision.